North Georgia got the worst of the flooding overnight, it seems, particularly in Chattooga County. That's where Latasha Givens is right now. And Latasha, businesses in Somerville were hit particularly hard by the flooding. That's right, Christy. About 30 minutes ago, we showed you what it looked like on the outside. It looked like maybe it just rained overnight, but on the inside, several businesses were flooded out. If you take a look around, we're inside Dirt Decor and Design, downtown Somerville. And right now, a lot of staff members and church volunteers are here trying to help clean up the water. Just about six or seven hours ago, the water came down in this store and rose several inches off the ground. This is also one of the lower parts of the city, so the owner says flooding here is not uncommon. Joining me live is the owner of the store, Heather Casey. Heather, thank you for joining us. Hi. Hey. So tell us, when did you find out that it was flooding and what did you think when you got here? <laughs> well, we, we know that this area is prone to flooding. Um, we drove by about 9.15 last night, I guess, and there were no issues whatsoever. Uh, the rain started coming down harder probably around 11. and. Um, Dane, who owns the coffee company that's within our store, he gave he decided, you know what, I'm going to ride down there, and he said, "Yep, you need to come." Uh, on our way, we got a call from 911 that said your but your your building is flooded. So when we got here, we knew what to expect from last time, but this was definitely uh, significantly worse than what than what we went through just a couple of months ago. So. And it's amazing how happen, how fast it all happens. The water was several inches off the floor. The good news is that you have dozens of people here right now yes. helping you. Yes, it is. Um, uh, <laughs> this is where I'll cry, but it's amazing. One of the things that we're so passionate about is unity within our community. And um, the pastor of a local church is lives right behind here, and he, he beat us here. And then he canceled his Sunday, uh, his services this morning or Sunday school this morning to have as many people from his church here to help. And we've got neighbors and staff and everybody that are that are here. And it's that you know, we moved back to a small town just a couple of years ago back here. And this is why. I mean, it's just it's an amazing community support. So thank you so much, Heather. And I'm so happy that. The people are here to help you, the community that you've been serving. Christy, we're going to continue to survey the area and we'll bring you more tonight um, later on. Back to you. Wow, Latasha, that was powerful. I mean, you could tell they've been through it before, but um, real spirit of resilience coming through talking to her. Thanks a lot, Latasha. We also received these photos from the Great Awakening Coffee Company in Somerville. You can see the floodwaters out in the roads and then also inside the building. That looks more like a river, doesn't it? Not a road. A very similar picture, water covering the floors, no doubt causing damage there. They'll be closed for a few days for cleanup. And look at this video new into the newsroom. This is flooding out of Tuscaloosa County, Alabama last night as the remnants of Tropical Depression Claudette continued to soak the southeast. The roads there really looking like rivers. A few drivers found themselves unable to get out of stalled vehicles and floodwaters leading to rescues, but luckily so far no injuries have been reported. We will keep track of Claudette as long as it's in our area, and luckily it looks like it's making its way out. Make sure you stay weather aware until that happens, though. Download the 11 Alive app. You can keep an eye on our interactive radar and get weather alerts sent straight to your phone.